it's Holly here from your past is a gift okay so the last few videos have been about the fact that we've watched leaving Neverland and I think a lot of people have been watching it and talking about it over the past week or so or a couple of weeks I don't know exactly when it came out we just watched it on Sunday this weekend and so the last few videos I'm just I was just sharing my observations my thoughts you know about not just accepting one side of the story you know it's not just about you have to piece it together for yourself and I've always been fortunate that I'll hear a story and I'm already stitching on the other side of it I'll already be stitching together the other half I'll be putting it together in my mind and putting together that human being that's on the other side that's been created you know you've they've created him like or he or she like she's a monster or she's done something that's unforgivable that's un you know because in in the interview with Oprah not once did anyone say something about there was a human being there and that this human being that has done these things you know what must they have gone through to get to that place not once do we ever look at the human being on the other side of the story you know it's very easy to look at the pain on this side of the story you know these two young men as boys what they've been through and now how they're suffering as adults very easy to just look at one side but you know after I watched that and we started watching Michael Jackson more interviews more videos more things and my heart just it kind of broke in a million pieces because I'd look at him and I was saying to my husband but even from quite young there's this look in his eyes that there's like there's something dead inside I couldn't explain it you know but for all the smiles that he had and for all the joy that he was expressing his eyes were dead there was something that had been taken away that was already gone it was already lost from quite young you know, even his youngest ones that I was looking at, there's already this intense sadness or pain. If you look at them carefully, because your eyes can never lie, no matter how much you smile, your eyes are still expressing everything that's going on inside. Everything. And how much pain would someone need to be going through to go to the lengths of changing their image? Not what you're wearing, you know, but to the point of even trying to change your skin colour. You can't even stand the colour of your skin. That You've got to change it to the exact opposite. How much self-loathing was going on there? No one stops to talk about that. No one stops to look at all of that. That I look at, and to me, it's so obvious. He's not here anymore, and he's not here to tell his side of the story. And we'll never find out but it's there if you look it's there and you don't have to look too hard even when he's smiling and I'm talking about Michael Jackson even when he's smiling his eyes you'll notice there's something dead inside there's this intense not darkness but sadness like something's been taken away that can never be brought back So I want you to think about that, you know, because if these young men, if they could get to that place to see that, to understand that, everything that they've been made to feel from this experience had been felt before. It was there the whole time. By this grown up. It was there. And probably to more extent you know than what they were feeling to more because no matter how much you hate yourself that you can't even stand to look at yourself because there are there were great talents in the world there's Whitney Houston she didn't have to go to those lengths to completely change her image of what she looked like on the outside for us to enjoy her beautiful music the only one that thinks it's so obvious 
We don't need anyone in the family to come up and to say anything. They're not going to want their skeletons all brought out of the closet. You don't need to. You can see it in any of his photographs, in any of his pictures, in any of his videos. You can see it in his eyes. It's obvious. All right, my darling. So, you know, take in, okay, the information. Take in how they were feeling. Take in everything, the whole experience. But always remember, there's another side. There's always another side to each story. And I can promise you that that did not start with him. That behavior, what he did to the boys or didn't do to the boys, that did not start with Michael Jackson. That is a pattern that has been going through for many generations. That this is how we express our love to our children. This is how it's done. So, you know, open your eyes, open your mind and look at the bigger picture, not just what's being presented, but look at all of it. Even though the other person is no longer here to defend themselves or to give you their story, maybe it's all there and we don't need it. We don't need his side of the story because it's obvious. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.